Welcome to V-Ray How-To Tutorial Series. In this video, we explore how to render a translucent fabric using a V-Ray two-sided material. Let's start by creating a V-Ray material for the front side of the fabric. We'll name it Front Side. Select the geometry in the viewport and assign the material. This way, it will be easier for you to configure it properly. Start an IPR to see the changes updated immediately. Then, add a bitmap texture and load the cloth image. Give it a proper name. We can call it Diffuse Frontside. Link the bitmap texture to the diffuse map slot of the V-Ray material. The texture is too big, so let's make the pattern denser by setting the tiling to 8. It's much better now. Let's move to configuring the V-Ray material. Brighten the reflection color to gray to introduce milder reflectivity. Decrease the glossiness to about 0.7 to make the highlights more subtle. Unlock the Fresnel IOR for the material reflections and lower its value to 1.3, so the strength of the front material's Fresnel reflection is reduced. Let's now make a new V-Ray material for the backside of the fabric. We'll call it Backside. Assign the new V-Ray material to the geometry, then add a bitmap texture and load a cloth image. Let's give it a name, Diffuse Backside. Link the texture to the diffuse map slot of the V-Ray material. Set the tiling to 8 just like we did for the diffuse front side texture. It's time to create the V-Ray two-sided material. Name the two-sided material, for example, fabric. While the geometry is still selected, assign the fabric material. The cloth disappeared and only what was underneath it remained visible because the two-sided material has no front and back materials yet. Link the front side to the front material slot of the V-Ray two-sided material. At the moment, the front side is applied on both sides of the two-sided material. Enable the checkbox of the back material in the parameters rollout and link the back side to the respective material slot. Now, the back side material is visible as well. So, let's change the translucency to see how it affects the shader. Set the translucency to black. When darkened, the front material is more visible than the back one as no light is passing through. Brighten the translucency a little and see how the light starts passing through the fabric. Set the translucency to white. Now only the back material is visible and the light is passing through. Turn the translucency back to mid-gray so that both the front and the back materials contribute equally to the image. Thank you for watching how to make translucent fabric with V-Ray for 3ds Max.